previously we are talking about this on page 135 where we have discussed about this uh, alpha hemolytic then beta hemolytic bacteria that cause complete lysis alpha hemolytic where you have seen partial hemolysis of your rbc and then we talked about in detail about the staphylococcus aureus which has gram positive beta hemolytic catalase positive coagulase uh, positive cocaine cluster group of organism it has a lot of important point of view that can be asked in a question like it's inflammatory disease toxin mediated disease mrs related questions then also about the staph aureus that is have a coagulase enzyme that is responsible for to form a fibrin boundary around the all the abscesses so any abscesses mostly the abscesses are formed due to staph aureus all your skin infection like abscess boil carbuncle furuncle this all there will be the staphylococcus so they actually form top fibrin clot around itself so it's form a fibrin clot due to the enzyme coagulase that form this fibrin to clot and form a boundary and this localized boundary within that boundary the abscess comes abscess proliferates abscess forms actually now talking about the staphylococcus aureus we have known that it is a gram positive cocci that is in a cluster that is catalase positive and we have done coagulase test that is positive so it is a staph aureus but those organisms which are gram positive honey stain catalase is positive coagulase is negative then there will be saprophyticus as sapro staphylococcus epidermidis and staphylococcus saprophyticus this is staphylococcus epidermidis and saprophyticus both are coagulase negative so these are gram positive catalase positive but coagulase negative okay so how we can differentiate with this both by a test known as the novicin sensitive novicin sensitive is staphylococcus epidermidis novicin resistant resistant is staphylococcus saprophyticus so this was the information previously we have discussed over here this is the gram positive catalase positive uh, staphylococcus group that is cluster group where is coagulase is positive staph aureus coagulase negative saprophyticus epidermidis among which no vicin sensitive is if staphylococcus epidermidis whereas resistant is staphylococcus saprophyticus so same information is over here only there are the few additional information like such staphylococcus epidermidis as a gram positive catalase positive but coagulase negative and they are ures additional ures both are ures positive but no vaccine is sensitive this is no vaccine resistant by which we can differentiate staphylococcus epidermidis from staphylococcus saprophyticus microbiologically so no vaccine sensitivity does not ferment mannitol versus staph aureus staph aureus has the property to ferment the mannitol whereas epidermis epidermidis staphylococcus epidermidis doesn't normal these are the normal flora of the skin staph aureus is also a normal flora but it is the second common common normal flora in your skin the most predominant is the staphylococcus epidermidis so you have to be very careful while collecting the blood because in your skin the organism itself is present if you are not cleaning the venue um, puncture site clearly then this organism will glow in your blood culture and you will be false there will be false positive you will be falsely guided towards the killing your own normal flora so you have to remember this is the normal flora of the skin contaminates the blood culture because it is already present in your skin and during veni puncture veni puncture that will goes into your blood culture bottom so you have to remember that the infection that actually caused by this bacteria this bacteria is it infect the prosthetic device like hip implant heart valve and have and iv catheters so normally it is caused prosthetic valves prosthetic implant infection so it is a disease that causes prosthetic implant like hip implant heart valve implant that infect that place and cause the disease and even if the infection persists over there it forms a biofilm and that's result into the removal of that implant if your infection is there due to this bug also it can infect the iv catheter which we do for any icu patient any admitted patient by producing adherent biofilm so these are the biofilm producer that can produce the biofilm in your any instrument any instrument any instrumentation that done to the human body that may be catheter that may be plant that is implant that may be hip implant heart implant any implant you have put that get infected with the epidermidis and will be very difficult to clear out because these are the organism that form the biofilm let's move on the page 136 where we are again continue with the staphylococcus organism and that is staphylococcus organism we are talking about this uh, gram positive catalase positive coagulase negative urease 
positive that's both staphylococcus aeruginosus and epidermis argyros positive but they are can differentiated by this novavicin test which is resistant in case of staphylococcus aeruginosus that normal flora of the female genital tract and perineum so these are usually normally present inside the female genital tract and perineum these are not causing any disease but it may be a responsible for the honeymoon cystitis that urine tract infection because when a female get first exposed to the sexual exposure then they goes to the um, then this normal flora can introduce into the uh, urine tract and if they enters into the urine tract they will cause the urine tract infection this is the most second most common cause of uncomplicated uti in young sexually active female okay this is the most common is e coli you always have to remember the most common cause of urine tract infection is hysterisia e coli if they are talking about the second second um, uh, communist organism in case of female not in male in case of female that becomes the sub staphylococcus saprophyticus so you have to um, uh, there will be a scenario like a young female who has been recently got married goes for the honeymoon and then she came with a complaint of lower ur urine tract infection like they have come from the uh, in lower abdominal pain burning micturition and there will be uh, urgency frequency then they are talking about the okay on gram stain they have seen the gram positive coca in a cluster that was caused to catalyst positive but when coagulase test was done it was negative what will be the test or which organism you are suspecting you are suspecting staphylococcus aeruginosus they will not ask that they will ask okay what will be the test that it differentiate from the staphylococcus epidermidis and you have to say about the no wise in test which is resistant to it in this way the information will be circulated and question will be asked we'll next lecture we'll talk about the streptococcus group and viridens streptococci and streptococcus pyogenes in next lecture for now thank you